Thyroglossal duct cysts, TGDCs, represent the most common congenital neck masses in clinical practice, often arising from the incomplete obliteration of the thyroglossal duct during embryonic development. This duct, a vital temporary structure during thyroid gland descent, leaves behind a cystic formation when it fails to regress. Commonly located in the midline of the neck, typically in midline near the hyoid bone, these cysts are usually painless and may only present as subtle swellings, often moving with tongue protrusion or swallowing. TGDCs can remain asymptomatic for years, often detected incidentally in children or young adults. These benign anomalies may, however, become symptomatic, manifesting as painful swellings upon inflammation or infection. Although rare, one must maintain awareness of the potential for malignancy, as cases have shown the presence of papillary thyroid carcinoma within TGDCs. Surgical intervention remains the definitive treatment, with the cyst trunk procedure being the gold standard for excising the cyst and the accompanying duct tract, effectively minimizing the chance of recurrence. Imaging plays a critical role in the diagnosis and management of TGDCs, with ultrasound emerging as the preferred modality. Typical ultrasound characteristics of TGDCs include a well-defined, oval-shaped cyst measuring approximately 2 centimeters. This cyst often displays hypoechoic to mildly echogenic internal content, consistent with colloid material or debris. The thin wall structure shows no significant thickening or irregularity, which aids radiologists in distinguishing TGDCs from other neck masses. Color Doppler imaging further enhances diagnostic capabilities, revealing absent internal vascularity typically associated with non-vascular lesions, along with mild peripheral vascularity, possibly indicating low-grade irritation. When evaluating TGDCs, it is essential to consider differential diagnoses, including epidermoid cysts, dermoid cysts, and enlarged lymph nodes with cystic degeneration. The prognosis for patients diagnosed with TGDCs is generally favorable. Following surgical excision, most patients enjoy a successful resolution of symptoms with minimal risk of complications. Nonetheless, Vigilance regarding potential risks such as infection or abscess formation is crucial in managing this condition effectively. The ultrasound features indicative of a benign TGDC, including mild echogenic contents, internal septi, and mild peripheral vascularity, reaffirm the importance of timely diagnosis and intervention, ensuring optimal outcomes for affected individuals.